Hi, Bo Pilgrim here at Bug Nose Insurance and Reed Insurance. Today I'm going to talk to you about what to expect during a home inspection. Uh, a lot of insurance companies, they will do a home inspection of your home to determine some different things about your insurance. And you may be wondering, why do they do this? What, what right do they have to do this? Or what should I expect? What's going to be the process? Will I be notified? All these different things you want to know and you've got a right to know these different things. Well, I'm going to help you to understand, break it down for you so that you can know what to expect, what your rights are, will you be notified, and then also what is the process with that. So, so let's, talk, let's start talking about that. So the, here's the deal is that every insurance company is going to do some sort of an inspection of your home. It may be a digital one being online or something like that. They may send somebody actually to your home to look at the outside of it. There's a few companies out there that actually send drones now to, uh, in certain communities where they'll go and just take pictures of your house with a drone. Sometimes they'll actually want to come and see you and walk through your home with you, just like an inspection you would do when you first buy the house. Uh, it just depends on the insurance company, depending on where they're at, the different states. Sometimes it's the age of the house or the style, or also sometimes it's just the value of the home also. So there's different reasons why they would do it, but here's the deal is that they're doing it so that they can understand, is your home acceptable or not? Now I know that you may think, well, I don't think that they have a right to do this. You know, their job is I give them money, they give me insurance. Well, the thing is, is inside of America, it's a free country. They don't have to do your insurance. They don't have to take your money. You don't have to get up and go to work each day or drink a cup of coffee or eat whatever it is that someone's put before you or whatever a restaurant's serving. You don't have to do a lot of things. Sure, there's consequences to different things, but you don't have to. And an insurance company does not have to provide you insurance. They need to determine if you're going to be acceptable risk. Because here's the deal. If they take on a bunch of clients that are not acceptable, that are going to cause a lot of claims, well, it's going to make the cost of insurance higher for everybody else. So certain companies are going to be very selective about who they're going to accept as a client. You know, it's kind of like that old adage, you know, you don't want to just pick whatever friends, right? Because some friends are a bad influence on you. Well, it's also kind of similar with insurance. They want to choose certain clients so that way it doesn't affect adversely the rates for all their clients. So. So they got a right to do so and what they're going to do is uh, come out and take a look at the house make sure that everything is up to par so to speak and when will they do this and will they be when will you, how will you be notified will you be notified so so here's the thing is they're going to do it within the first 30 days that you you buy a policy from an agent or a company sometimes they will do this on the renewal also like maybe right before the renewal or right right behind the renewal there's, those are typically the different times. So it's either like within the first 30 days, 60 days before your first renewal, or 30 days within the renewal. Those are different times that that will happen. Um, they are going to notify you, maybe. Some companies do, some companies don't, unfortunately. You know, we request all of our insurance companies to please let us know so we can let you as a client know, but the reality is just some of them just don't do so. Um, we would like them to do so, but we do at least let you know that, hey, just, you need to understand this. An insurance company is going to inspect your home the first 30 days if you switch to a new company. And also, very likely, each, each policy term when it renews. Just understand that they may do this. They don't always, but they may. Um, what would they be looking for? Well, they're gonna look for a lot of different things. They're gonna look for the general upkeep of the home. They will make sure that, you know, things like the yard is mowed. Uh, there's not, you know, loose siding or, or shutters or something like that. There's not debris out in the yard, different things like that. They will make sure that there's not appliances underneath the carport or the garage. You don't have cars out there that are unused, obviously unused, and it, the house just isn't kept up. Well, why are they looking for these different things? You know, I listed a wide range of things. Well, all these different things are going to tell them you take care of your stuff or not. You know, that is going to translate to you know, are you a good risk or not? Because the reality is people that don't take care of stuff, it is proven with statistics, the law of numbers, that people who just don't take care of their stuff that have these different problems are going to have more claims. And again, remember from the beginning of the conversation, people who have more claims are going to adversely affect the rates of everybody else. And insurance companies don't need that because they'll start losing clients. 
So they will decline people or send a notice to them if there are certain problems. Um, depending on the, depending on the company, the value of the house, other things like that, they're going to look for a lot of different things. Some of the things that I listed, but they also may want to actually come inside the home and take a look. They want to look at maybe the wiring. They want to make sure the wiring is up to code. They want to make sure the plumbing is up to code. You want to make sure that it's, if it's an older home that it doesn't have any sort of you know, out of date wiring that could potentially create a fire hazard or it doesn't have like a breaker box or a fuse panel. Uh, they don't like fuse panels, but if it's got breaker boxes that are really out of date or maybe a, a fire hazard, they're going to bring that up to you because you're going to need to address it. Look, here's the deal. If you have your home and you like your home and you try to take care of it, if there's something you need to be aware of, don't you want to be aware of it so you can fix it so you don't have a loss on your home that's related to a fire or something like that? I think you do. So that's part of what they're going to do is they're going to look for these different things to help you to know these are things you can fix. So, so what happens if you get a notice? If they find something, you're going to get a notice. They're going to send you a notice and they're going to tell you, hey, you need to fix these things and they're going to give you a timeline of when you've got to fix them. And then you really need to get on it because here's the deal. They give you notice, they're going to probably cancel your insurance if you don't fix those things, if it's bad enough. Now, depending on what it is, now there may be some things that may just say, look, I need, you, know, you need to fix this and this and this. If you don't fix it by the next renewal, we're not going to renew your insurance. We're going to you know, let you find insurance somewhere else. In some cases, if it's pretty bad, they may say, hey, look, you've got to fix this and you get this deadline. If you don't fix it by this deadline, we're going to cancel your insurance and you'll need to find it somewhere else. Well, understand if you're in that position and they're going to cancel your insurance, you're going to have a hard time finding insurance with another company because they're going to do the same thing. Insurance companies are very similar. They're going to look for different things that are going to be red flags for them. And they're going to try to help you to understand, look, they're not out to get you. They're there to help you, to make sure that you're taking care of your home and your property and maybe give you some guidance because the reality is you may just not realize it. So they're going to help you to understand things that you need to address and then you'll need to go ahead and get that addressed and fixed. Hey, look, I hope that helps you to understand what to expect with a home inspection and what are the different parts of that uh, process. Hey, I appreciate you checking us out. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know when we post a new video. I appreciate you checking out. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section. I will reply to every one of them. If you have a video you want me to record, uh, I'll be glad to do that for you. Just leave it in the comment section. I'm always watching for that and I'll be glad to record another video to help you understand whatever it is that your questions are about insurance. Hey, I appreciate you checking us out and until next time, I hope you have a great day.